Compressed Air, Best Practices to Save Money and Operate Efficiently, presented by UA Safe State. Are you blowing out hot air? Here are three tips to save energy and money for compressed air systems. Compressed air is often overlooked as a major source of power usage and unnecessary spending. There are two main sides to consider when evaluating a compressed air system, the demand side and the supply side. We're giving you tips to save money on the demand side. For the demand side, there are three main saving strategies. First, the largest savings can often be realized by reducing air leaks within a compressed air system. Facilities without a formal leak detection and elimination system often have leak rates reaching above 40%. That's 40% harder the compressor has to work with no gain. Implementing a leak detection and elimination program can significantly reduce leak loads, power usage, and operating costs. Second, improving end-use efficiency can also realize large savings by using tools or machinery that are more air efficient, thereby reducing the amount of compressed air required to operate properly. Third, reducing the overall compressed air system pressure is another overlooked opportunity. In the 100 PSIG range, a 2 PSIG drop in system pressure results in a 1 to 2% reduction in energy consumption. You will naturally need less pressure and still be able to achieve the same end-use performance if you fix leaks and use more efficient equipment, because less airflow will be required by the system if these conditions are met. In summary, help your company's bottom line and become more efficient by using these compressed air best practices. Not only does an efficient compressed air system save you money, but it also correlates to reductions in greenhouse gas equivalencies and helps the environment. If you have any questions or need help getting started on your compressed air journey, check out our website, alabamasafestate.ua.edu slash compressed air, or reach out to UA Safe State via email.